Another huge win for U.S. women's soccer. The U.S. Soccer Federation agreeing to equal pay for all players, no matter their gender. Midge Purse, formed for the U.S. Women's National Team and U.S. WNT Players Association CBA committee member. That is a whole lot of letters here now. Uh, Midge, thanks for being with us on such a big day. This has been a years-long fight. How geeked are you today? And, and what does this mean for women who play soccer on all levels? You know, I'm really excited. This has been a long time coming. This fight has started before I even was a professional soccer player. So yeah. to, to grow up watching it and now to see it, you know, everything come to fruition, everything they've been fighting for, it's it's a really rewarding feeling. And I, I'm really proud of everyone who's been a part of the movement. So as I mentioned in the intro, you're a member of the Collective Bargaining Committee for the Women's Players Association. That's what all those letters stand for. Uh, what else can you tell us about this deal? I can tell you that it's fair. I can tell okay. you that it's equal. Uh, beyond... I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Because we haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> I can tell you it's fair and that it's equal awesome. and that beyond um, the money, you know, we've we've finally secured safe working conditions. You know, we've we've gotten a lot of child care for the men. You know, there are things that both sides are, are benefiting from that they haven't had before. And I think it's really important to understand that, you know, this is the money is really, really important. You know, sure. it, it's my sure. favorite thing about the deal. But what we've accomplished in this deal is something that I think FIFA needs to look at every globally. We need to look at just making everything, all things equal. Can, can we talk about some of those other, um, I don't want to call them side issues, but some of those other things, because every time we talk about women's and men's soccer, it's always about the pay being equal, right? But like you even just brought up childcare on the men's side. I mean, there are things that haven't gotten as much news attention that are, that are really important sources of support for our country soccer players. Yeah. I mean, working conditions, you know, we talk about the turf field versus the grass field all yeah. the time. You know, but we talk about prize money, but we'd also talk about the participation money um, and how much that they delegate to the men's teams versus the, the women's teams. So there's a lot of things that go into being a professional athlete that go beyond just your compensation and they need to be considered as well. You said that your dad always told you, you don't get a reward for doing what you're supposed to on a day like this, one that you have waited for for a long time. What's your message for female athletes? Yeah, he didn't say it as nicely as you did. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep it clean for the news. You know what I mean? Yeah, keep it clean. Um, my message is that your value is the same. I think that it's really important that we recognize our own value and we don't stop fighting for what's right and, and how things should be. I think that this is a, a, a vision of what is to come globally. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I think it's coming. Midge, so awesome uh, to have you on with us today. Thanks for sort of fleshing out what happened. We got the big headline, but you gave us all the inside scoop. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.